like, hey, just wanted to let you know, I'm married. Evil things gnaw on bones. It's not my face, but it is. Why are they so savage? Oh God, look at his face. Hey guys, and welcome back to some more super savage riddles. Did I sound super savage? I tried to. Yes, that's right, we're back reading some more seven second riddles because you guys love the first two so much and I mean, gee golly gosh, I love them just as much as well. So I have put on the most brightly colored thing I own to match my super brightly colored thumbnail, which gets me in the mood to watch some brightly colored riddles. That actually covers up the fact that they're super dark. And because there's so many of these freaking riddle videos, I always try to pick a theme now. And today's riddle theme is the who is lying theme. Obviously I'll sprinkle in some other riddles here and there, but that's the main ones I'm gonna focus on. There's so many of them, but I'm just gonna jump right into this just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. And if you're like, Lauren, what is the who is lying theme? Oh, you're in for a treat as always. Well, we're off to a good start with the bright colors. Hooray, who's lying? You're expecting a baby, but I'm a man. Who could be lying? So we have to decide if either the doctor is lying or the man is lying about being a man. Are we supposed to be thrown off by the fact that he's wearing a pink unicorn shirt? Because men can wear pink unicorn shirts. Look at Scott. He loves pink unicorns. Uh, I'm sure it's A. I don't know. This seems easier than it should be, though. Oh, is that a picture frame of his lover? Is that supposed to be a clue? Okay, let's see. Were we correct? He... <laughs> wow! He doesn't look like a real doctor! Oh my god. You're right, he doesn't. It definitely doesn't have to do with the fact that he just told a man that they're pregnant. This fake doctor is clearly insane. I just, I... <laughs> Okay, that's what you're in for today, guys. So this one is, who is the parent? Why are they three totally differently drawn cartoon characters? I mean, I'm assuming his dad, oh, I understand. See the birthmark on both their arms? I wasn't even going for that. I was gonna say, oh, that guy and that kid are drawn the exact same due to their eyes. But they're like, oh, they got two, yeah, oh, they have a birthmark. It has nothing to do with the fact that they were drawn exactly the same. Who is the parent? Okay, this one's a little trickier. I guess the guy with, a, with the doll? Because he's buying her a doll? He's just, wait a minute. Okay, so we have the father. A cute, adorable little girl that looks like a child version of Snow White. Pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, seven second riddles! You never disappoint me with the dark savagery. It could have been the dad buying her a doll. All right, whatever. Who is the parent? Well, I hope neither of them, because they're very old. Um, hmm, it's gonna say comments, isn't it? I'm guessing the one on the right, because she has a shadow drawn on. Again, drawn. Oh my God. All right, well, it's definitely this lady, because she's drawn with like the shadowing, just like he is. And she looks like a doodle that jumped out of somebody's notebook. Don't need to go to the comments, I already know. Who's lying? It's not my baby, he's yours. Look at the dad's face. He's like, mm, wait a minute. I mean, the baby's white and neither of them are white. So either she had an affair or that's not her baby. I'm gonna say that the nurse is lying. Oh my God, really? Okay, well, I guess that was a pretty straightforward one then. And choosing between three guys. Oh, look at them. They all look sweet. I bet they're not. She visited their places to see how they lived. Oh my God, it's like Room Raiders. Mike? Okay, he's definitely married. Definitely married. Didn't even, wait a minute, didn't even hide the fact that he was married. In fact, he made it very clear he's married. He's like, hey, just wanted to let you know, I'm married. Do you still want to do this? Cause I'm married. <laughs> See my wedding ring? It's on the table. See my photo? It's there. See my screensaver? Yep, didn't even bother to shut the computer off for that one. Bob, wait a minute. <laughs> Um, so Bob has handcuffs on the bed. Definitely looks like he might be holding something behind his back. And I think that there is a blood stain on the carpet. Oh, Bob. Okay. Wait, James also has a blood stain. I don't want to be with any of you. I don't know who to pick. The married guy? At least he won't murder me. Oh, now the time starts? I mean, I guess the married guy. I. It's terrible, but at least I wouldn't get murdered. Mike is married. Oh my God. I would have never guessed it. Bob seems to be a maniac! Wait! Wait! You're not gonna address the fact that he also had a blood stain under his table? Or are we just assuming that's like a food-related stain because it was in the kitchen? 
we're just gonna assume it's a food-related stain. But if we're wrong, then she did. She is dead. Who is her lover? Is it the guy holding a cat? Okay, they both have blonde hair on their shoulder. It's the guy holding the cat? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh! I got tricked. <laughs> Trickery! Who is her lover? The guy touching his nipples? The guy touching his hip? Oh, the guy touching his hip because because they have uh, the necklace that goes together. I win. Who's his girlfriend? Mom, he's my boyfriend. No, he's mine. Okay, well, I'm assuming that A is not the girlfriend. B is the girlfriend because they have matching tattoos. Like she has one on her back and he has one on her arm. Uh, but what is this weird messed up situation? Wait. Oh, it depends. Wait, it depends which one I picked. And then it says something about me? <laughs> okay, well, if I picked A, which I didn't, you have rapid mood swings and you tend to make decisions without thinking too much. Okay, well, I'm guessing my answer was correct then. You always consider all of the consequences of each action, but sometimes it takes you too much time. Thanks, seven second riddles. I just learned a little bit about me. Who's the kidnapper? Hmm, that kid's got an awful lot of candy in the back seat, and we can't see who's in the front. Uh, and then the other one just looks like an unhappy parent with a child. Yeah, let's let's go with the kid with the candy in the back. A ton of candies, tinted windows. I knew that wasn't right. Who's the kidnapper? I don't know. I want to say the one on the left. No baby stuff at all. Oh god, never mind. Who's the kidnapper? Uh, the car is moving around next to that kid. So either his parents are getting it on, or he's being kidnapped because it's tinted. So, I mean, I'm guessing it's the one with the pickup truck. Oh, we'll never know. This is not my leg. It's yours. What? How is it not her? Are you trying to say that somebody replaced her leg with somebody else's leg? Oh my god. Her toes are different colors. It's somebody else's leg. This madman put another person's leg on her leg and tried to pretend like he didn't. He's like, it's your leg. What are you talking about? It's, just, it's your leg. I don't care that it's a totally different leg. Something seems strange. <laughs> oh my god. Why did you give me somebody else's leg? Why was that necessary? She might not be lying after all. Brad from the eighth floor. Oh my god, was found dead in the elevator shaft. Wow, okay, this story is dark right away. The elevator has been out of service for a week. The police suspected it was a murder and questioned three people. Lara, Brad's ex. I was arguing with the delivery service. Hmm, sure you were. They refused to make deliveries until the elevator was on. Johnny, a neighbor with no family or friends. I live on the floor below and can't take the stairs. I was putting away my groceries that day. Mike, a drug addict from the ground floor. Oh god. Yeah, I heard the body hit the ground awful. Mike looks like he has seen some, some things. <laughs> he has been through a lot. Who is lying? I'm gonna give Mike the benefit of doubt saying not him. I mean, the fact that they pointed out that this wheelchair man has no family or friends kind of makes me suspicious of him. Uh, I'm gonna say it's the wheelchair guy. Oh my god, it's the wheelchair guy. The elevator wasn't working and there was no delivery. He told he couldn't walk, so where did groceries come from? Ah. Who is an evil thing? What is an evil thing? Oh god, okay, it's that this guy is an evil thing. We don't know what he is, he's just an evil thing. As you can tell from his horns and his little tail, he's lying about being an evil thing. Oh my god, I, I had no idea. Who is an evil thing? <laughs> well, I have no idea who the evil thing could be. Is it the lady with the skull and all the other weird things in her basket? Oh my god, what? I would have no idea. Who is an evil thing? Oh, how interesting. There's a random guy eating a bone in the bottom corner of the screen. Evil things gnaw on bones. But what if he was eating a chicken bone? They gotta be more specific. It should say human bone. Then I'd be like, ah, that is an evil thing. Okay, the subway's pulling up. The timer's going. I don't see... Oh my god, they're all evil. They're all evil because they're levitating. They're not moving their legs. Comments? What? Who was the evil thing? I mean, I guess the answer was everybody, because that, because who the heck moves like this? Who's lying? You're not pregnant. I'm eight months pregnant. I think she is pregnant, because your belly button doesn't really pop like that unless you're pregnant. Like, you can't just get super fat and have your belly button pop. I don't 
think. Yeah, they're zooming in on that belly button a lot. Okay, it's definitely, yeah, A is lying. Oh, it's teaching me things about myself. But what's the answer? Oh, we're at a police station. The police found a lost kid. Looks pretty happy. He is too little to talk and can't say where his parents are. Three people came claiming they were the kid's parents. Hmm. Which one's the liar? They were allowed to spend two minutes alone with the boy. The policemen were watching them through the window. Okay, number one gave him a bunch of junk food. Well, I'm guessing it's not her. She was just trying to lure him with junk food. Where were you? I've been looking for you everywhere. I'm guessing that's the mom. She also has a gray hair streak from, you know, being a mom and being so stressed out. Look, it's your favorite car. Uh, okay, well, she could just be bribing him with any car. I think it's the second one. It's gotta be the second one. She's the only one that looks really concerned, too. Who is the criminal? Uh, one and three. <laughs> Yay! Who would give chocolate and french fries to a little kid? I mean, a lot of people? What? People treat their kids? <laughs> this is typical of kidnappers to offer toys. I like how they just lock them up. Like, no questions asked. You can't give kids toys or fast food. Jail. Straight to jail. Wow, they're reunited. Yay. Who's lying? Oh, God. Okay, this lady looks busted. My son, she stole you. You're crazy. Hmm, who could be lying? Pretty sure she's a crazy lady because her clothes are ripped. She's got scratches everywhere, is dirty, and talks like that. My son, she stole you. She looked crazy. That's really the answer. That's the whole riddle. That was a riddle. Oh, this looks cute. Lupita and Nito live in the city with their young son, Tony. Oh, look at how cute he is. One day, their friends invited Lupita and Nito to their wedding. They left and left their son with the nanny. Oh, there's the nanny. When Lupita and Nito came home, they found out Tony was dead? Wait! What is happening? Why does everybody look so happy? Why does this look like a harmless kids riddle cartoon thing? But it's not, I told you. Look at this trickery. Tony, Tony looks like he's asleep. Are you sure he's dead? Everybody looks very happy, even though there's a dead kid. What is happening? What are these riddles? The police interviewed Three suspects who all look very happy. I was making porridge in the kitchen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's holding a piece of cake. Did she kill him? Is that what this is? Because she said she was making porridge, but she didn't really make porridge, she has cake? Because what the heck? Who's lying? I was watching the show. Nothing specific? Okay. I went to the store to buy Tony his toy. He already had his toy though. The policeman immediately arrested the butler. Oh, cause yeah, cause, cause he already had the toy. The toy was in the photo! Oh, the happy family photo. He already had that toy. This is called, too, 13 popular riddles for kids and adults? Question mark? We don't know who these riddles are for. Definitely not kids. R.I.P. Tony. Who are the parents? This is our son. No, he's our son. Well, they're both redheads on the left, and the baby's a redhead. So it has to be their baby because I know that only people with the red-haired gene can have a red-haired baby. See? See the red hair? I know I'm right. I'm right, aren't I? Tell me I'm right. Oh, I'm right! Yeah, it's the red hair. The police raided a remote farmhouse where a gang of kidnappers hid. When they entered the house, they found three young Asian women who claimed that they'd been kidnapped. The first girl said she was in captivity for a month. The second girl said she was abducted two months ago. The third girl said she was there for three months. One of them was lying. Ooh, who's the liar? Okay, well, there's one very obvious thing between the three of them. One of them has dark hair, one is red, and one has red that's fading back to dark. And they were specific about them being of Asian descent. So I'm assuming the middle one is lying because how did she keep her hair red when it's naturally growing out to be dark? I was right. Asians naturally have dark hair. The first and the second girl have dyed hair. I like how they're explaining it even though I already explained it. But the second girl's roots didn't start to show though that she was there for two months. It's not my face, but it is! Oh my god, is this another situation where the doctor put somebody else's face on her face? I mean, she can't see if it's actually her face, though. She's all bandaged up. 
I'm gonna say she's lying. Or she doesn't know what she's talking about. She might still be in post-operation shock. I knew it. Kind of. Who's the father? I was in army. I am a virgin. I am a woman. <laughs> Never mind. It's the old red hair trick again. I mean, the army guy looks like he might have, like, reddish brown hair. Eh, I guess it's, like, blondish brown. Well, B, I think you're lying about being a virgin. Yep, it's the red hair. A new kidnapper drifted into town with a bloody knife. He caught kids in the park and killed them. Oh my god. Why are they so savage? The police installed cameras all over the park and soon detained three suspects. The, oh, wait a minute. Before, before this riddle continues, what is the guy in the middle? Looks sketchy AF. Let's see who it is. What were you doing in the park? I was going to my nephew's birthday. They live just next to the park. I was looking for my cat. Yeah, she looks like a crazy cat lady. She has run away this morning. I just like walking here. <laughs> he has a candy bar in his pocket that's like half open. And chocolate is my guilty pleasure. I haven't seen any kids here. Claude's kind of sketchy because he's got bags filled with kid stuff. Dana, Dana's just a crazy cat lady. She's fine. Eric looks sketchy AF. It's definitely Eric. Please, yeah. The detective didn't say anything about kidnapping, but Eric started defending himself. Oh my god. Julia was badly injured in a car crash that was obviously faked. Doctors say she can lose her memory for a while. When she got out of her coma, okay, it couldn't have been that fake. She saw three men around her. Each of them insisted on being her boyfriend. Babe, seems you need fresh air. Let's go for a walk along the hospital garden. Honey, how are you feeling? I've been so worried. I've missed you so much. Let's run away from here. Okay, well, two of them want me to immediately leave the hospital with them, so I'm gonna say it's the guy with the flowers that didn't immediately want me to leave the hospital. These two are obviously kidnappers. Thanks, happy police. They tried to take a heavily injured person away from the hospital. I told you guys. He's her boyfriend. Why did you say anything, dude? Why'd you let those two random weirdos in there trying to get me? Who is the kidnapper? Oh, well, she's wearing a badge that doesn't have her photo on it. And the rest of them, you can't see badges. So I'm guessing it's A. Yep, a man. She stole it. Baby snatcher. Who is dangerous? Oh my god. They both look so sketchy. Is there a right or wrong answer to this? So the postman is giving me flowers. Oh god, look at his face. But the pizza guy is wearing these really sketchy gloves and is delivering pizza but has a different outfit on. He has like a lab tech outfit. What is happening? I'm very scared. The logos are different. I still stand by what I said, though, and saying that both of these are sketchy AF and will probably murder you. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, that's gonna be it for answering some more savage seven-second riddles. As always, if you made it this far in the video and you'd like me to answer more savage seven-second riddles, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos almost every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.